Hi, I'm Mick from Contour Education. Welcome to the second in our series of videos showing educators the main features and applications of Quantum GIS or QGIS. This video is going to cover some of the main features and tools of Quantum GIS at a basic level. This is QGIS out of the box, so after you've installed it, it does come with some US data you can choose to install, but we'll use Australian data today. The interface consists of a menu bar along the top, you have a number of toolbars sitting underneath, which can be customised by right-clicking in this grey area, and you just select the toolbar you'd like. Uh, and we have a, an area called our table of contents here, where our layers are listed, and our map view. Let's open a project file to see QGIS with some data. This project contains some data from the Brisbane suburb of Ashgrove. To open a project, we click the Open Project button and navigate to our location. In my case, I'm there. We can hit Open, and this is going to open a project file with some self-contained data. The project file in QGIS is much like the MXD in ArcGIS, or Map Document, and it contains a series of layers, a coordinate system, a view, symbology, uh, and other information that's ready to be displayed when opened. We can select which layers are visible by turning them on and off using these small boxes. So let's now add some individual layers. We'll add some more layers to our project. Let's first add a, a vector layer. And this not overly intuitive dialog is asking you to navigate to the layer. So if you click on the Browse button, you can then go into your data folder and find that particular layer you're after. So I'll click on Contours and hit Open. And we'll hit open to open that contour file. We can open up the table attached to that file to see the data uh, that's contained within. So in this instance, our contour file uh, logically contains an elevation um, field or column, which means we can distinguish different uh, contours based on elevation. If we open our main roads attribute table, we can see it contains different data, the name of the street. Let's now add an aerial image. So we click on our Add Raster button, and we can go again to our data folder, find our image, and click Open. The image will then be drawn in on top of um, our map, our contours. We can adjust the layers by clicking and dragging in the table of contents, and that will adjust the order of those layers. I'll just turn contours off. Um, the data in here is overlaying accurately because it's geo-referenced. And again, we'll, we'll talk more about some of the key terminology um, and some other terms that you might need in our data types video. Now we'll cover the basics of navigating around your data. There are three tools you'll find most useful, and they're on this toolbar, the navigation toolbar, which I'll just drag out to highlight. The three tools you'll need predominantly are the zoom in tool, the Zoom Full tool, and this one which is greyed out, it's called Zoom to Last, it's a back button. So let's zoom in, we click and drag a box around the area we'd like to zoom in, and the software will zoom in for us. If we zoom into this school, we can see we can gradually increase our view by clicking and dragging a square. Now that we have zoomed in, our Zoom Last button is active, and that simply takes us back to our last view, where if we wish we can go to another part of the school. So using the zoom in and the zoom to last is, is quite neat. If you do happen to get a bit too close or a bit lost, the zoom full button will take you back to the fullest extent of your data. So it will find the largest piece of data and zoom you back so you can see that. There are some other navigational tools that you might find useful. Um, the pan tool, this small hand, allows you to click and slide the map around while keeping that particular scale. And if you're after a particular layer, such as our aerial image, you can select it with a click and then use this tool here, the Zoom to Layer tool, and the data will, or the software will zoom you to that layer. So that was a brief introduction to the main tools of QGIS. Have a look at the other videos in our series for advice on getting your hands on free global and Australian data, and much more. Thanks.